When I won the election, the candidate that I defeated said that he was going to be in the streets all my term. That he was going to protest all my term. That his purpose was not to let me govern the country. That was said. So we know that for some people, this is also a political instrument. And we have to tell that to the Colombian people. And I think seeing all this situation in a pre-election year demonstrates that there are some people that in their political interest, they're not in favor of economic recovery. They're not in favor of massive vaccination. They're not in favor of attending the poorest of the poor. Because if those things happen, it weakens their speech. The Colombian economy is projected to grow above 5%. Whose interest can be against that? The interest of those who want to capitalize chaos. Who wins if there is a delay in the vaccination program? Those who want to build their political ambitions through chaos. Who could be interested in generating a massive healthcare crisis derived for and a spike of new cases that have been triggered by new uh, conglomerates of people? Those who want to grow their political ambitions through chaos. But that's not pa patriotic at all. That's not honorable at all. So I think it's very important that Colombians know that because we're thinking about the benefits of all society. Someone who wants to build their ascent to power through chaos, despair, frustration, that's not the kind of president Colombia needs in 2020.